the future simple tense. Form, 1, inactive. Affirmative, subject and will, LL plus infinitive. Negative, subject and will not, won't and infinitive. Interrogative, will and subject and infinitive. Question word and will and subject and infinitive. I, we and shall and infinitive. I, we and shall not, shan't and infinitive. Shall and I, we and infinitive. He, travel, to Luxor next week. Correct, not, will, where. He will travel to Luxor next week. He won't travel to Luxor next week. Will he travel to Luxa next week? Yes, he will. No, he won't. Where will he travel to next week? Luxa. Use, it's used to express. To talk about things that haven't happened yet. He'll be here at six. They'll know tonight. You'll have time for tea. Will you ever help him? This year, he'll read War and Peace. I'll be 20 next month. The president will open the new school tomorrow. To make a prediction without evidence about the future. It will rain tomorrow. I'm sure he'll come back. I suppose they'll sell the house. They'll probably wait for us. Who do you think will get the job? The sun will rise at 7 a.m. Perhaps, we will find him at the hotel. I think I will have a holiday next year. To express the speaker's opinions, assumptions, speculations about the future. He'll build a house. They'll know tonight. I don't think I'll buy that car. You'll have time for tea. With I or we. To express an immediate decision or intention. We will be there. I won't see him again. I'll pay for the tickets by credit card. Hold on. I'll get a pen. There is somebody at the door, I'll go and open it. I'm going shopping. I won't be very long. To express willingness and unwillingness. I'll do the washing up. He'll carry your bag for you. The baby won't eat his soup. I won't leave until I've seen the manager. With you, to give orders. You will do exactly as I say. You won't enter here again. With you in the interrogative form, to give an invitation. Will you come to the dance with me? Will you marry me? For making promises, requests, refusals, offers. I'll help you with your homework. Will you give me a hand? I won't go. Will I carry the bag for you? With clauses of condition, time and sometimes purpose. If you drop this glass, it will break. Don't drop it. It will break. If it doesn't rain. We'll go to the park. After you arrive tonight, we will go out for dinner. When it gets warmer, the snow will start to melt. I'm putting this letter on top of the pile so that he'll read it first. Dash, uses of shall. Shall I? To make an offer. Shall I open the window? Shall we? To make a suggestion. Shall we go to the cinema tonight? Shall I? To ask for advice or instructions. What shall I tell the boss about this money? With the other persons, you, he, she, they, shall is only used in literary or poetic situations. With rings on her fingers and bells on her toes, she shall have music wherever she goes. The future simple tense in passive. Object and will be and pp. Obj. Plus will not, 
won't be and pp will and dodge plus b and pp question word and will and dodge plus b and pp Amon will finish the work by 5 pm active the work will be finished by 5 pm by Amon passive she won't pay the debt next week active the debt won't be paid by her next year. Passive. Will they make a party tomorrow? Active. Will a party be made by them tomorrow? Passive. When will you visit Rami? Active. When will Rami be visited? Passive. Be going to. Form, in passive. Affirmative, subject and um, is, are going to and infinitive. Negative, subject and um, not, isn't, aren't going to and infinitive. Interrogative, um, is, are and subject and going to and infinitive. Question word and um, is, are and subject dot plus going to and inf. Dash. I, meet, Reem tonight. Correct, not, are, uh, whom. I am going to meet Reem tonight. I am not going to meet Reem tonight. Are you going to meet Reem tonight? Yes, I'm. No, I am not. Whom are you going to meet tonight? Reem. I'm going to be an officer when I grow up. Salma is going to begin medical school next year. They are going to drive all the way to a suet. Use, it's used to express. Plans and intentions for the future when a decision has already been made before the moment of speaking. Or the idea that a person intends to do something in the future. It does not matter whether the plan is realistic or not. I'm going to visit my sick friend next Friday. He is going to be a dentist when he grows up. What are you going to do when you get your degree? B. Nada is going to make Ailey's birthday cake. Predictions for the future that are based on present evidence. The sky is getting darker and darker. It's going to rain. That boy is going to be sick, he looks quite green. Look at those boys playing football. They're going to break the window. It can be used without a time expression to refer to near future. I am going to read you some of my own poems. He is going to lend me his bicycle. He is turning on TV. He is going to watch the film. A. Uh, we've run out of milk. B. I know, I'm going to buy some. She is not going to spend her vacation in Alex. In informal contexts, such as text messages and emails between friends, and especially in spoken English, going to is often contracted to gonna. I'm gonna meet a friend in town. Note, the going to form equals an intention plus plan. Will plus infinitive equals intention alone. Be going to in passive. Object and um, is, are and going to be and pp. Obj. Plus um not, isn't, aren't and going to be and pp. Um, is, are and going to be and obj. Plus going to be and pp. Question word and um, is, are and obj. 
plus going to be and pp. Sally is going to make dinner tonight. Active. Dinner is going to be made dinner tonight by Sally. Passive. I'm not going to visit her tomorrow. Active. She isn't going to be visited tomorrow. Passive. Are you going to attend the online IT course? Active. Is the online IT course going to be attended by you? Passive. Where is Ali going to meet her next Friday? Active. Where is she going to be met by Ali next Friday? Passive. The past simple tense. Form 1. Inactive. Affirmative subject and verb in the past, second form. Negative subject and didn't and infinitive. Interrogative did and subject and infinitive. Question word and did and subject and infinitive. I watch a new film yesterday. Correct, not did when. I watched a new film yesterday. I didn't watch a new film yesterday. Did you watch a new film yesterday? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. When did you watch a new film? Yesterday. Ali, buy a shirt last week. Correct, not, did, what. Ali bought a shirt last week. Ali didn't buy a shirt last week. Did Ali buy a shirt last week? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. What did Ali buy last week? A shirt. I, be, at home an hour ago. Correct, not, were, where. I was at home an hour ago. I wasn't at home an hour ago. Were you at home an hour ago? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Where were you an hour ago? At home. Notes on spelling. Regular verbs. Regular verbs divide into four groups. One ed stay stayed stayed help helped helped. Two d arrive arrived arrived hope hoped hoped. Three eat cry cried cried hurry hurried hurried. Four ed stop stopped stopped plan planned planned. Irregular verbs. Irregular verbs divide into three groups. One no change cut cut cut. Put put put. Two one change make made made. Buy bought bought. Three two changes do did done. Write wrote written. Use, it's used to express. A completed action in the past at a definite time. I met him yesterday. They got home very late last night. I had my first son in 2004. They finished the meeting two hours ago. Completed actions in the past when the time is asked about. How long ago did she buy her car? When did he arrive to that location? A completed action in the past when the action clearly took place at a definite time even though this time is not mentioned. The train was 10 minutes late. I bought this car in Montreal. We were very happy in Salma's birthday party. An action that was true for some time in the past. 
Ali enjoyed being a student. My mother once saw Queen Victoria telling a story or incidents happened in the past. Last week, I went to Luxor. I traveled by plane. I stayed there in a hotel. I met some of my old friends. I visited the temples there. I enjoyed a lot. A past habit or something that happened several times in the past. He always carried an umbrella. They never drank wine. In conditional sentences, type 2. If he played well, he would win the match. He could get a new job if he really tried. To talk about wishes for the present. I wish I was dot were taller. Adele wishes he wasn't dot weren't so busy. I'm freezing. If only it wasn't. Weren't so cold. V to be in past simple. Affirmative singular subject and was. Plural subject and were. Negative singular subject and wasn't. Plural subject and weren't. Interrogative was and singular subject. Were and plural subject. I was at home two hours ago. We were at home two hours ago. He wasn't at school yesterday. They weren't at school yesterday. Was she abroad last month? When were Ailey and Nada absent? Keywords are Yesterday four ago Last In the past in one day once In ancient times once upon a time from to Used to Affirmative reasonable subject and used to and infinitive. Negative reasonable subject and didn't use to and inf. Interrogative did and reasonable subject and used to and inf. Question word and did and subj. Plus used to and inf. I used to drive very fast. I drive slowly now. He didn't use to smoke much in the past. Did your father use to hurt you when you were young? Where did you use to spend the weekend? Huda used to be fat, but now she isn't. Layla used to eat desserts, but now she doesn't. I didn't use to sing but now I do. He usually spent the weekend in the farm. Equals it was his habit to spend the weekend in the farm. Equals he used to spend the weekend in the farm. Equals he was in the habit of spending the weekend in the farm. Equals spending the weekend in the farm was his habit. We use no longer instead of used to that's followed by affirmative present simple. He used to live here. No longer. Equals he no longer lives here. We use any more or any longer instead of used to that's followed by negative present simple. He used to live here. Any more. Equals he doesn't live here anymore. The past simple tense in passive. Object and was, were and pp. Object and wasn't, weren't and pp. Was, were and object and pp. Question word and was, were and object and pp. I met my wife a long time ago. Active. My wife was met a long time ago by me. 
Passive. He didn't call the police. Active. The police wasn't called by him. Passive. Did you ever attend a conference? Active. Was a conference ever attended by you? Passive. Where did she see Adele? Active. Where was Adele seen by her? Passive. The past continuous tense. Form 1. Inactive. Affirmative singular subject and was and being. Plural subject and were and being. Negative subject and wasn't, weren't and being. Interrogative was, were and subject and being. Question word and was, were and subject and being. At six o'clock, I, eat, dinner. Correct, not, were, when. At six o'clock, I was eating dinner. At six o'clock, I wasn't eating dinner. Were you eating dinner at six o'clock? When were you eating dinner? They, meet, secretly after school. Correct, not, were, when. They were meeting secretly after school. They weren't meeting secretly after school. Were they meeting secretly after school? When were they meeting secretly? Use, it's used to express. Asterisk to show that an action was in progress at a certain time. From four to six Tom was washing the car. Between one and two I was doing the shopping. What were you doing at 10 p.m. last night? Last night at 6 p.m., I was eating dinner. Yesterday at this time, I was sitting at my desk at work. The sun was shining every day that summer. I was working in the garden all day. To describe something that was happening continuously, past continuous, in the past when another action, simple past, interrupted it. When the phone rang, she was writing a letter. While we were having the picnic, it started to rain. As I was writing the email, the computer suddenly went off. Ram went home early because it was snowing. I was listening to my iPod, so I didn't hear the fire alarm. What were you doing when the earthquake started? On hearing the bad news, she was listening to music. To describe two actions that were in progress at the same time. I was studying while my wife was making dinner. Hanny wasn't working, and I wasn't working either. Were you listening while he was talking? What were you doing while you were waiting? For descriptions and narrating scenes of a story. The birds were singing, the sun was shining and in the cafes people were laughing and chatting. Adele sat down and took out his phone. The habit that started and finished in the past. Or repeated past action, which often annoys the speaker. I was practicing every day, three times a day. She was constantly talking in class in those days. He was always leaving the tap running. Eamon was always coming to class late with verbs which show change or growth. Her English was improving. It was getting darker. My hair was going grey. The wind was rising. The town was changing quickly. The children were growing up quickly. Key words are while as just as when because ever never always all day all evening only still four hours so on very important notes. While, as, just as, when and past continuous, past simple. While as when he was sleeping last night, someone stole his car. While as just as when we were watching TV, the light went off. Past simple and while, 
as, just as, when and past continuous. I met John while as just as when I was walking to the station. I got home while as just as when they were doing their homework. When and past simple, past continuous. When the fire broke out, we were playing handball. Past continuous and when and past simple. I was driving this morning when I saw an accident. While, as, just as and past continuous, past continuous. While, as, just as Ailey was reading, Salma was watching television. Past continuous and while, as, just as and past continuous. My friends were playing while. As. Just as I was sleeping. While and verbing, past simple. While playing football, Eamon fell down and broke his arm. During and noun or verbing, past simple. During walking in the street, she met her friend. During her walk in the street, she met her friend. We do not normally use the past continuous with stative verbs. We use the past simple instead. When I got home, I really needed a shower. While I was at school, I worked to a plan. Not while I was being. The past continuous tense in passive. Object and was. Were and being and pp. Obj. Plus wasn't. Weren't and being and pp. Was, were and obj. Plus being and pp. Question word and was, were and obj. Plus being and pp. The salesman was helping the customer. Active. The customer was being helped by the salesman. Passive. They were not playing football at 9 a.m. this morning. Active. Football wasn't being played at 9 a.m. this morning by them. Passive. Were they eating dinner? Active. Was dinner being eaten? Passive. Where was he discussing his plans? Active. Where were his plans being discussed by him? Passive.